Now, given how Stephen Harper's relationship with China began eight years ago, it may seem a bit ironic that Canada will be North America's first Chinese currency hub. When Harper was first elected, he was adamant that he wouldn't stop pressing China on human rights, even if it meant he was snubbed by the country's president at the time. Critics say the PM has softened his stance since then, and this new currency hub is proof. Vashi Capellas reports. Here it is, the UN, China's currency. Before now, Canadian companies doing business in China needed to first convert their money into American dollars. Business professor Ian Lee says the new trade hub agreement will cut out the middleman. It's going to save about $4 billion over 10 years in exchange fees, so this is not trivial. The hub has been years in the making and will likely be located either in Toronto or Vancouver. It's the first hub China has authorized in the Americas. China is still, in many respects, highly centralized, highly controlled at the center. And the currency is a very good example of this. It's a very controlled currency. Other aspects of China's economy, like the labor force and interest rates, are controlled to a degree, too, helping to create the world's second largest economy behind the U.S., one that's hard to ignore. But when Prime Minister Stephen Harper was elected in 2006, that's what he seemed willing to do, saying at the time he would never sell Canadian values out to the almighty dollar or tone down criticism of China's human rights record to advance trade relations. The government is determined to express uh, Canadian views on political issues, human rights concern, concerns, and in particular uh, matters that affect Canadian citizens. Those comments came after China's president at the time cancelled a meeting with Harper because of his stance. Times have changed. Tomorrow, the prime minister will meet with China's current president. I think that those uh, uh, differences have to be respected. The internal, uh, how China chooses to run its country is their business. As a small, open trading nation of only 35 million, we cannot ignore uh, or refuse to do business with the second largest economy on the planet Earth. To be sure, it's a balancing act. Harper's trip to China was confirmed just weeks ago, late for a trip like this. And while there, he has spoken of the importance of the rule of law and democracy. Still, it would seem the dollar is pretty almighty after all.